my name is Tomam Boa. I'm uh, from Cameroon. And um, my background is in uh, biochemistry, uh, specifically uh, uh, molecular uh, biology. So I got a bachelor degree on molecular biology. And then I, I studied uh, science of education and I get I got like two master degrees in science of education. And then I did my PhD in um, uh, in public communication at the University Laval in Canada. So uh, during all my academic courses, I was always always impressed by uh, information. How information can be. Uh, uh, share it, how information can be reused. And um, that is why from this interest, I encountered the open science movement eight years ago with uh, uh, through the OCSD net, Open and Collaborative Science uh, Network. And um, from OCSD net funded our project. Our project was uh, Project SOA. Uh, a project to promote open science in French and in French speaking African countries and Haiti. And so that is how I build uh, my network through organization working in on uh, open access, uh, uh, open art way and uh, any kind of uh, uh, openness, uh, open <laughs> or any kind of dimension uh, related to open science. And locally, um, I, I, I built some initiatives like uh, the Decolonial Library, Dominique Vogo, and uh, the Mboala. Uh, today, I will spend more time on uh, the Mboala, who is the maker movement, but I want also to tell that I'm a researcher, I'm doing research action because I'm also the le lecturer at the Advanced School of Mass Communication here in Cameroon, where I'm teaching uh, digital humanities, uh, open science, and um, all what is related to uh, scholarly communication. So <clears throat> that, is, uh, that is me. So the Mboala, I founded the Mboala in 2018, and uh, is a kind of reification of uh, my thesis because my thesis is on the maker movement and the techno coloniality in French uh, African countries. So the Mboala is a kind of concrete realization of uh, what I learned from uh, uh, the, the Mboala. And the Mboala is specialized on uh, uh, biotechnology uh, due to my background in, uh, in biochemistry. Uh, so what we are doing at the Mwala, we have like uh, 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 related to uh, public health and biotechnology, we have uh, three main activity. Can you hear me? Yeah, Hello. You yeah, yeah, we do hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I, we have like three uh, main uh, uh, activity related to public health. So the first one is a very complex one, local production of enzyme and reagents. So that is a, a high level of, uh, uh, of uh, molecular biology, if I can say. And um, what we are doing, uh, we are producing enzyme locally because when I stopped my study in biochemistry, 16 years ago, it was mostly because I was impressed by molecular biology, but they told us that we cannot do it from Cameroon, from Anna, because equipment and reagents are so expensive. So when I encountered the open science movement, I realized that through openness, there is a lot of uh, things that I can uh, overcome, a lot of barriers of uh, yeah, present in my past that I can co overcome and help uh, a new generation, generation of African and uh, Cameroonian to to succeed in uh, molecular biology. So uh, we are producing enzyme for molecular biology, and currently we are so we are selling the, those enzyme uh, 
in Cameroon, in, uh, in Ghana, where we have some collaborators and um, everywhere in uh, Central Africa when someone uh, needs uh, uh, enzyme. So that is uh, like the, 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 the deep uh, molecular biology part of uh, our work we are doing in the, at the Mboa lab. And the second thing is local hardware manufacturing because uh, one thing that I'm advocating for is local manufacturing because we need, in terms of openness, we don't need uh, uh, to work with uh, black box. We need to be able to fix our own uh, uh, equipment if they are broken. And we need to understand the process from the beginning uh, to the end, how such equipment uh, will. So that is why also uh, we are working. Uh, some of our equipment are used, are built uh, by ourselves. And uh, some of uh, my work related to this has been featured in two uh, natural articles talking about uh, all the work we are doing uh, at the Mwala. Our third activity is capacity building because it's very important for us to build a new generation of uh, Cameroonian and, um, and uh, African able to understand to, trust, able to trust in themselves and able to build uh, things from uh, Africa, from what we are doing. So we are teaching, we used to, we are working with a local university. So we used to host intern, we need, we used to train them uh, through uh, a workshop. And, <clears throat> but it's not easy because we have uh, 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 some challenges and uh, 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 funding is the first one because we are depending of uh, international uh, uh, collaboration sometime. And uh, the, there is a kind of lack of, uh, lack of uh, local uh, awareness and support. So we are trying to overcome all this kind of uh, 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 barrier. And also very important is <laughs> some barriers like language barriers. I'm sure that you have understood that I'm not, English is not my primary language, but um, I have, uh, uh, French is my, uh, <laughs> I have, I done all my studies, uh, my school in French. So French, if I can say, even if the two language are colonial language for us, but uh, French is, I'm free and in French more than in English. So that sometimes also it can be a, a barrier for uh, for us, and we we don't have the, the the government support also. So it's very important to have the government support, but here is very difficult. But through the good uh, vibes we have and the good collaboration we have at, at international level, we are still uh, sustainable through the research development we are doing. And uh, yes, this, <laughs> just to say uh, thank you. This is a small team, the small team of the Mwala with uh, some women and me here. Uh, that is the permanent, the permanent at the Mwala. But, and we have a lot of volunteer and intern, but here is the five the permanent of the Mwala doing all the, the magics and the work. So, uh, Thank you very much for your keen attention.